Greensboro Pride is back this year, once again supporting and encouraging LGBTQ plus communities right here in the triad. Joshua Davis was there for the festivities and takes us to downtown Greensboro. That's the point is the expression, the, the self-expression. If one person sees it, another person will catch it. Happiness is contagious. Elm Street and the people walking on it were decked out in the colors of the rainbow for one of the largest celebrations of Greensboro Pride ever. Everything else in the world tells people they can't be who they want to be. So it's important that we create spaces like this that remind people that they are beautiful and they are welcome and they are included and they make Greensboro just as special as everybody else. For a lot of people here, this is a safe space, allowing them to gather and celebrate who they are from the young to the old. You're not, when you don't have that support system, it's so hard. And it's hard enough when you're not part of the community. But to be part of that community and to, to, to see the attacks that are going on in that community, it, it, it just it makes a huge difference. Greensboro Pride has been around since 2006, and organizers say it's been growing ever since. Uh, we are looking at somewhere around 50 to 55, maybe even 60,000 people this year. And for record, that will be the largest Greensboro Pride ever held in the city. And attendees are hoping events like this can serve as encouragement for folks everywhere. Out and be loud and be proud. But it's important to show the community that um, there are people who accept them and love them for who they are. If you don't understand it, you will get another, a greater understanding once you're here and you feel the energy, you see the people and understand exactly what that purpose is. And In Greensboro, Joshua Davis, WXII 12 News.